Hey everybody, uh, I'd like to share with you some thoughts on some on a, a word that's been coming to me for a while now called conscious mapping. And again, it'll be just thoughts I'm going to share with you and some interpretations on it and from what I'm expecting, what I'm sensing. And of course your comments are always welcome and thank you for the previous uh, response that you guys had uh, it's good to know so conscious mapping it requires a kind of awareness so in other words a knowledge of what you're actually thinking in your consciousness so in other words what I'm trying to say to you is, is yes everything that you're thinking of is consciously being mapped into this system it goes along with the with the previous video of the ruse and for those who haven't seen it please check it out it is right before this video the last one I made uh, conscious mapping and the reason I chose those words is think before you think uh, think carefully before you set the intention in place it's just another word for being aware that your consciousness is being mapped as you think as you go through your your existence um, what goes along with this particular conscious mapping has to do with a type of reconfiguration so if I'm thinking something and I'm experiencing the outcome of that thing that I was thinking of that's being mapped into this world now I did say I'm bringing back the ruse that the biggest focus is on resource anything and everything wants something resource more uh, customized can be relationship between a person two persons or a country uh, and persons in it uh, my will I want to imprint onto your consciousness I want you to map my consciousness by me allowing to see your consciousness that's what I'm talking about it's more refined now it's much more deliberate as well it's more in your face it's more applicable to almost everything that you're looking at that you're reviewing that you're reading that you're being stimulated by uh, it works on the binaural system because it is a binaural system a binary system binaural system same thing what I'd like to share though a few a few things on my thoughts is that conscious mapping also has to do with but perception and what you're perceiving the other person to think or feel is so powerful that your psychic ability is somehow dumbfounded by their actions by that energy so when you know you're feeling always within yourself um, you can't trust that person and the person does something to make you doubt yourself it's another way of how narcissists work by the way so the system it is a golden age yes I've said that we are in the golden age and I'm going to share with you but the golden age consists out of a bit of a consists out of transmutation and alchemy and for those who don't know what alchemy is it really is a process of transmuting something and giving it a different consciousness by applying your same conscious mapping of something so for example to to I'm jumping all around with all, with this specific subject but I'd like to just maybe focus you to this example there is a state capture taking place X country X planet X whatever X it's it's a it's an unknown factor okay I'm not going to give any explanation or titles to it 
I'm calling it a capture, a state capture. Let's say it's a political motivation or a religious motivation. And their implications or implying that it is part of the fact that it's for growth. That is called mass conscious mapping where the ones who instigate the story, the snake around the egg, speaks in a frequency that you are not familiar with but you feel okay am I gonna accept this for what it is uh, is there gonna be all of the other things am I gonna be safe that's the first thing that you feel that you normally want to f are you gonna be safe um, will I go to heaven will I get a job will I have a job will I all of those questions that you feel the moment that there's a major structural movement a massive conscious mapping projected onto a people or a group of people and again I'm using churches or religions or cults etc anything where there's a a group of some of a body or body of people projecting a particular thought pattern into this conscious field and you as the person or part of the people are ex receiving that filtered frequency into your consciousness first of all first thing you feel is normally the first thing that you would must take notice of if you feel no I can't deal with it. I don't know what the hell this is or ah that's not a bad idea it's how your first reaction determines how you experience an external factors conscious mapping within your consciousness it almost works in the same way as a program of a particular application or software where I write a code and I put it out there and other coders or developers go there and they take that same code and they put it into them into their into that same app or they use a different app for it it's almost as if the pattern is copied over or mimicked over and then utilizes it and then it becomes absorbed as a consciousness who said it was your consciousness to begin with your original consciousness thought who said it was even yours to start with generations after generations of the same program or the same software and I'm talking generations as in new versions of the same software and the same pattern is there the same way that generations are birthed and living and dying and going on life movement it never stands still the balance is all is never static and I must specify specify this to you that the balance is never static it is always moving it's how quickly you adapt to your internal balance in response to how your consciousness is perceiving this specific mapping coming from the external factor or body of people or program and so the golden age filters more of these things through for us to see more of these things that we can actually question that we may have wondered about that we may have thought about for a long time the answers are coming much more clearer to you now I mean there's some of us that are going to our childhood to see where this thread has been inf interfered with another thing that also comes up is how do we handle the external conscious mapping that's being projected on within our consciousness if we know that there's an anomalous there's an anomaly in the program 
that doesn't belong to us but we can't get it out because it's like stuck inside of your body it's like a it's like a a thorn that's inside of your finger and you can't find the proper tool to get it out but you can feel it you're feeling it in your in your experiences you're questioning your psychic consciousness you're questioning your self and then another one comes along and another one comes along and another one comes along and really what I'm trying to tell you is that someone else's conscious mapping that they project into your conscious field which is around you in your immediate environment your local environment is their projection their story that they are feeding you to accept as if it is an actual story your story and it speaks and functions as if it is a snake I give you I gave you a little vision there and said it's like a snake around an egg that happens to be the universal uh, representation uh, hermetics representation or the uh, new age where the kundalini is referred to as the snake must be th you must be very careful when you absorb these 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 things just because you're feeling something and what they're saying is yeah yeah and if you feel this and there's a slight tingle on the tip of your finger uh, that means it is that that's that person's story feeding it to you which means where in any of this have you then done any kind of self research where have you found where have you worked have you just accepted that person what that person is saying as your story this is how the whole consciousness of the planet of this plane is being modified I'm being more direct in this video the examples are everywhere resource via conscious mapping to make my story your story and for you to accept it like if one salmon jumps upstream and commits suicide does it mean that you have to do the same thing yeah but it's because they said I should feel guilty but why but why do you feel guilty because I don't know I just feel guilty don't don't have don't argue with me about this that's how the narcissistic interfering frequency which is becoming even more epidemic in our society is influencing us to feel that we are suffering from post-traumatic stress we are experiencing something that's called and I've mentioned this before called complex uh, post-traumatic co complex post-traumatic stress syndrome which means we've we've been into we've accepted another person's story as if it's our own so much that we've basically lost ourselves in our in our own self with regards to that process going forward so in other words it's like the same as eat all of the food that I'm putting on a plate for you and when you look in the plate there's like a bunch of worms and there's plastic tins and there's there's a little patty there there's a bit of cheese there's a there's a dead rotten bun and you look around you and you the first thing you do is you look around you to see is everybody else eating that same food and yeah they all seem to be eating the same food so you're like okay uh, I suppose that could be right then if the if the salmon are all committing suicide upstream then maybe I should do the same thing my question to you is who are you I always bring this up remember who you are 
Do you remember who you are? Which is why we are here. And which why which is why we are discussing this openly without applying any story onto anyone. We are able to see that if we stand out, you know what? Hell yes. Stand out. Be that piece of gold sticking out of that stone. Be it. I always I've always said that uh, there's always been a story about uh, the angels, they've all fallen and all the fallen and all of that and it's all connected to Anunnaki and all that stuff when in actual fact we're the gods and we have fallen because we have stopped believing in ourselves and so we are fighting the war of the corporate giants and I'm saying giants because giants and gods have been fighting they've always been fighting when in actual fact it's a bit of a spin on the actual word itself which means that which you consider bigger than yourself I shall leave this with you and again thank you very much for your support I am supporting you much love to you bye